and off and racing for the Skybet Lowther Stakes Group 2 here on day two of the Skybet York Ebor Festival. Dramatise broke well over on the far side there. She's matching pace at this stage then with Lady Hollywood. Just tucking in behind them on the far side there is Sweet Harmony. Right up there, Corindia. Yellow cap, Matilda Picotte. Uh, Morge is just tracking swing along down the centre of the course. The two Garberg fillies might be disputing the lead, you know. Dramatise on the far side, swing along on the near side. Between them, Corindia, Matilda Picotte, Morge. And then behind these comes Queen Me, beginning to become the fourth successive generation to win it from her family. Kinter's being scrubbed along. Then comes Lady Tilbury who's just manoeuvring for a run. Maria Bramwell is outpaced. A bit of work on for Glen Laurel and Desert Illusion outclassed. They're racing inside the final quarter mile here. Dramatised on the far side. A stable companion swing along on the near side. Queen Me is trying hard behind them to pick them up. So too is Matilda Picot and the yellow cap. Dramatised in trouble here. She's got a battle. It's swing along who takes over. But Queen Me on the outside. This could be historic if she gets there. But it's Swing Along and Clifford Lee from Queen Me and Swing Along got there from Queen Me. Matilda Picot in third. Morge next. Dramatised, weakened out of it. And they're off. For the quarter of a million pound Goffs UK Harry Beebe Premier Yearling Stakes and a nice even break as well on the near side uh, showing up pretty nicely is Washington Heights who goes across towards the middle alongside Northcliffe in the blue jacket. Right up there as well is Vince Le Prince in the yellow and red colours. On the near side, King's Crown and the Noseband alongside the remarkable forces, White Cap in the middle of the field, Revision pumped along there uh, behind Carsib. Over on the far side is Dare to Hope, the purple jacket alongside matching socks. Secret Angels not far behind the leaders in the white colours. Uh, then behind these, Meta Horse, the Grey is under a bit of pressure. Redemption Times, Red Cap waited with next to JM Jungle Revision on the inside. The orange colours of Glorious Angel. Hardy Angel is outpaced, so too Reginald Charles and Nebras Rainbow. They're coming inside the final quarter mile. Northcliffe over on the far side, being taken on by Washington Heights. And then with a white cap, Remarkable Force. On the wide outside, King's Crown should have been a ring, is coming home pretty strongly as well, but needs to pick up two or three lates quickly. Northcliffe in front, Washington Heights wearing down the leader. Washington Heights should have been a ring though. He's absolutely bearing down on the top here and it's tight. Should have been a ring. Washington Heights, Northcliffe. A massive run by Havana by the sea behind them and then dare to hope. And they're off. For the Clipper Logistics Handicap, this Heritage Handicap Class 2 worth £125,000 in the pot. Isla Kai and Shalia broke well from the outside. Uh, Frankie's up there as well on board Shining Blue in the white cap as these the Echo, the Echo Point, the stable companion from Godolphin, although trained, of course, by Charlie Appleby, up on the inside rail with Uzo alongside him as they settle down. Lion Tower seeking a nice position behind these leaders is followed through by Blue for you and Tyrrhenia and C. But Isla Kai takes them down the side of the course from Uzo in the gold jacket, followed then by Echo Point and Chalia on the outside. Ross Colin is in fifth place, Lion Tower, and then Shining Blue, Tyrrhenia and C. Next to the rail is Blue for you. They're followed then by Boost Sala, Revic with a bid on at the back of the field with Orban on the inside. Cruyff turned last year's winner alongside Saga, together with Young Fire, trying to make up ground as the runners hurtle down the home straight towards the final three furlongs. Isla Kai over on the far rail, the leader. Down the centre, Shalia the Grey, shaken up now, Shining Blue coming there. Tyrrhenia and C and Uzo with a bit of a challenge as well. On the inside, Echo Point struggling for room, then is Ross Colin. Uh, down the outside, Escobar is taking off. Look at Blue for you is angling through blue for you in the white cap and he's short of room they've got about six or seven with a chance Escobar on the outside is motoring home with some purpose and probably hits the front inside the final furlong Tyrrhenia and C blue for you is after him though now in the clear can blue for you get there is it going to be tight oh he can get there blue for you and Escobar it's a one two for David O'Mara Tyrrhenia and C was third place followed home in fourth by Orban and uh, away they go for the Darley Yorkshire Oaks of 2022. And a, a really outstanding renewal it is as well. Racing over a mile and a half here. And the early pace coming from Magical Lagoon in the green jacket. Shane Foley sending her out into an early lead with on the outside then the light to... Lighter green colours there is Le Petit Coco, who moves up into second place, just ahead there of Alpinista, the grey, as they, one or two of them, jump that path. Tuesday is sitting handily in fourth, Raclette on that one's outside, Poptronic, and Lilac Road in the maroon and blue colours 
uh, brings up the rear about six lengths behind then as they go through the first three furlongs. They're moving down the far side towards the mile start here. A dispute for the lead between the two Irish fillies. On the inside there, Magical Lagoon. On the outside is Le Petit Coco. Magical Lagoon in the hands of Shane Foley. Billy Lee on the outside on La Petit Coco, the pretty Polly winner. Alpinista, the grey, Luke Morris tracking with Tuesday on that one's inside. Ryan Moore in the dark blue jacket. Olivier Pellier has Raclette in fifth place. Poptronic in the yellow is next for Sam James. And looking on still is Tom Marcond on board Lilac Road. The runners heading down now towards the halfway point of the contest over on the top left-hand corner of the track then here in the Darley Yorkshire Oaks. Beginning the long sweeping left-hand bend now, which brings them down the side of the course. If anything, well, you'd probably say Le Petit Coco has gone on now by about a neck from Magical Lagoon in second. Alpinista waiting to pounce in third place as they straighten up for the judge. She's being tracked through then by Ryan Moore on Tuesday. Raclette's pink cap is next, just being squeezed along. Then on the inside, Poptronic. And as the pace lifts, they're all being squeezed along. Lilac Road trying to improve as well. So La Petit Coco is now setting out her stall and she goes for glory here in the Yorkshire Oaks. Leads, but Alpinista is up to the challenge on the outside in the hands of Luke Morris and draws alongside and just puts her grey head in front here as they bear on down towards the final quarter mile. Alpinista the leader, but La Petit Coco and Tuesday on the inside are battling really hard as they race up towards the final furlong. Alpinista having to pull out a bit more. The Oaks winner Tuesday drawing alongside her on the inside. There's only a neck between her. Alpanista's having to be very brave here. And she is. She's got all the courage in the world and goes on to win the Yorkshire Oaks. Alpanista beats Tuesday. La Petit Coco. It was tight for fourth. Magical Lagoon and Lilac Road. And they're off and racing. And a nice break as well over a mile and a half here for this listed British EBF Sir Henry Cecil Gultra's stakes. Keeping wide Voodoo Queen from her draw of 12 and uh, but run up there though she's almost alongside the early pace setter Luna Dorada who's showing good early toe there in the red cap to go along with Voodoo Queen alongside her as they settle down there through the first quarter mile in third on the inside there is Time Lock just ahead then of Golden Lyra under a straight Mimikyu Frankie on the outside there of Supergirl taking a bit of a hole Mimikyu top anticipation is next to the rail just running around a bit behind them well, Pearl Beach has settled pretty nicely. Judith is restrained. Uh, behind her is Star Fortress, who's taking a little bit of a grip. And the green cap of Haskoy, in the hands of Ryan Moore, is about eight lengths behind the pace setting as, uh, setters as they go down towards the final seven furlongs of the contest. Luna Dorada then for Rob Hornby. Leading from Voodoo Queen, David Egan on the outside in second place. Time Lock and Will Buick racing close up behind them with uh, on the outside then Mimikyu and Frankie de Tori. between them is Golden Lyra Tom Marcon the white faced chestnut filly there Tom in the yellow colours top anticipation next Supergirl and then just before, towards the inside is Pearl Beach Danny Muscat Judith alongside and last as they begin to turn down towards the home straight the last two are Haskoy together there with Star Fortress so they're coming up towards the final half mile of this contest here, this British EBF Sir Henry Cecil Gartra Stakes. These beautifully bred fillies with loads of potential between them coming down the home straight here at York and pressing on Luna Dorada on the inside. Voodoo Queen trying to go with her. Pushed along now is Time Lock going pretty nicely. Between them Golden Lyra is under pressure. Up the inside top anticipation. Down the outside Mimikyu and Supergirl and Judith on the outside. Oh there's a load of chances here in the Galtress. They're racing inside the final quarter mile. Time Lock maybe just in front. Supergirl chasing her down hard on the near side. Judith is also staying on pretty strongly as well up inside the final furlong they come over on the far side a late charge from Haskoy but it's time lock the leader Haskoy finishing off with a real aplomb on the inside up towards the line they go and Haskoy's got there what a ride from Ryan Moore time lock in second Judith third and Supergirl in fourth and often racing 
Not the best of starts made there by Courageous Knight, the raw blue cap there of the Godolphin duo. This Orate Wellness EBF Stanley's Nursery Handicap underway. Good start made by Sunny Orange. Kaima right there and wider. Ben Acre in the black and white colours going on from Spirit in My Soul racing second. Sunny Orange, Kaima, and then manifested next to the rail in the pink with the purple spots. Indian Dream and Scholarship Racing behind them, together with on the outside Mystical Applause, uh, then covered up then the white cap of One Nation on the inside there in the middle group. Uh, further back then, Run CMC on the outside, Rock of England on the inside, Common Acclaim there being shuffled along. Indian Dream at this stage is in the middle of the pack as well. A bit of work on for Courageous Knight too, who's got more behind him than in front of him. And the one that's struggling is Craven. They're coming down the, the home straight here then, well down the home straight, two and a half to go. On the outside here comes Kaimo with a threatening looking run, the pale blue jacket. Sunny Orange is going with him, however. On the inside, running well is Spirit in My Soul. Another two to Godolphin runners up the inside. Coming with a run, Courageous Knight, just getting the better of One Nation in the white cap. They've got to go some to catch Kaima inside the final furlong. Tom Mark on in full flight here on Kaima. On the outside, Indian Dream is leaving it late, but it's closing down stride by stride. Kaima is going to hold him by half a length, though. In second place, Indian Dream. Over on the inside, Courageous Knight. And Spirit of My Soul ran a massive race. The only filly in the race took fourth. And away they go. Just dwelling as the stalls open there was Girl on Film on the inside. And a day in Asia, not the fastest away, but she'll be dropped in as she steps up to seven furlongs to the British Stallion Studs EBF Phillies Handicap, the Class 2 event. Idikos is showing good pace. Belosa from the outside, though, coming across and leading her right up there, Espresso. And then the first colours of Clever Logistics on Illustrating. Grey jacket just ahead of Mabadra. Together there with the green colours on the inside there of Truly Acclaimed, who's got a nice position early on. At this stage, one small step in the blue colours is on the inside. Queen Aminatu not had the best of runs through so far. The red cap at the back of the field. Adean Asia is making a bit of progress out towards the rear. Improvised and the white cap as Belosa strides on coming down the home straight. They got just past the three furlong pole at this stage. Expresso on the outside. No name Nikki being scrubbed along. Near side red sleeves of Sound of Iona. Under a bit of pressure illustrating. Mo Badra is also uh, getting going as well. Behind these no move from Edikos in the bronze colour. Stunning beauty has never really got into it. A uh, few with chances though as they come up towards the final furlong. A day in Asia and she's come through on the far side to tackle here. No name Nikki and Sound of Iona, these three together, a day in Asia. Can she stretch out to seven? She certainly can, and a day in Asia completes the four-timer for Harry Dunlop. No name Nikki in second place, Sound of Iona, and back and forth was truly acclaimed. One for Dylan Hogan, 